Hey guys, what's up? This is Ink Slasher 44, and today we got a game of team deathmatch on a map called Hanoi. And uh, a guy named, let me just check here for a second, Jordan JJ22 asked me on my last Call of Duty video, dude, have you got any tip or got like any tips on how to go flawless, but 30 and one stuff? So what I got from that is he wanted to know how um. I do so consistently well in this game, I guess you could say. And by no means are all my games like this one. This this game is pretty good. It's a game and team deathmatch, and I go 30 and 1. And basically, I'm just going to talk about why I'm so successful and why I do so well. And they're basically... First tip is a very simple tip. And it is... By the way, I'm going to call this video uh, how to go flawless or close to it. Um... Basically, first tip is the game mode you play. Now, this is very important for, first of all, the main reason being that um, if if you're going to want to go flawless, you're going to need to find out what type of gameplay, gameplay, what type of game type you are good at. So, for example, three types of games that I'm good at are Sabotage, Team Deathmatch, and Free For All. And, um... Free for all and team deathmatch are pretty simple because um, it's basically just killing people. And the reason why I'm good at that is because I'm so good at controlling my surroundings, and there's the whole beginning game, middle game, end thing that comes into play, which I'll get into later. And sabotage, believe it or not, is I play the exact same way I would play a team deathmatch, except with an objective. So, let's start off by talking about the beginning game. Uh, by the way, guys, I can only talk about the game types I'm good at because I can't um, really speak for the other game types that I'm not such good at. That didn't make any sense. That I'm not as good at. So, for when I'm playing a free-for-all um, or team deathmatch, the beginning game, you're going to want to go to a spot you're comfortable with. In this game, you're, you can see I went straight to the middle of the map where I knew they were spawning on the opposite side. And the reason why I'm so comfortable with that is because everyone, I, I know everyone will be straight in front of me. And the reason why that is so important is because then you don't have to worry about your back. So, once the beginning game is over, and the beginning game doesn't last very long, by the way. Uh, once that time is over, you'll know by either being able to tell when the spawn switched a little bit, or uh, being able to just kind of tell. <laughs> It's, you just have to make sure that your back is not exposed to the enemy whatsoever. And, um, that's very important. And this death right here was extremely stupid. I had an S. Like, I don't just... It was dumb. Okay, so then after the beginning game, uh, what you're going to want to do is find a spot where you're comfortable with and you can control both sides of you. As you can see, what I did is I ran into that central building and put down a motion sensor on either side where I thought they were spawning. And that enables me to control where they're attacking me and where the gunfights are. And that brings me to my next point. What you're going to want to do is, to go flawless or close to it, what you're going to want to do is control every single gunfight you get into. And what I mean by this is, when you're in a gunfight, what's going to happen is either you're going to approach someone from behind, no homo, or you're going to uh, have head-on-head -head combat. That is just so dirty. But um, what happens is if there is a head-on-head -head combat, I, I don't know what else to call it. I, sorry, it sounds so dirty. But what you want to be able to be in a better situation and have better cover than the opponent does. Or just have better aim. Either way, you're going to want to be able to control all those variables. And I do that very well in this gameplay and extremely well in my free-for-all game so if you want to go watch some of my free-for-all games you can very easily see me doing that um, another tip is when you're playing the mid-game you want to use high kill streaks uh, if you want to consistently get flawless and stuff because your kill streaks uh, help you very much so build up and get those high amount of kills that look good with the zero deaths and also those uh, kill streaks will actually help you stay alive so that's very important and last but Probably least too. The end game. Um, end game is basically the biggest part where you're gonna die most. Um, what happens is you get bored 
and uh, you lose your patience. And that is probably the biggest tip I can stress when you want to go flawless is that you have to have extreme, extreme patience. Like, you can just see me here staying in, like, my little building just to make sure that uh, the enemy doesn't get that upper advantage on me when I get into a gun battle. And that is definitely the biggest key to going flawless is just simply, it's just such a simple thing is just patience. And that is why when you get rage or get mad at a game, that's why you do worse is because you lose your patience and then put yourself in bad situations. And he just got shanked. And um, that is the most important tip I can give anyone in this game. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And I, I've tried to give you as many tips in the shortest period of time that I could. But, oh, one more tip. If you're having trouble dying too much, use a suppressor. That's the easiest possible tip I could give you. Just throw on a suppressor on either the FAMAS or the Galil. Two very easy guns to use with a suppressor. And uh, just have a good time. And I hope this helped, guys. Um, and then Jordan, I, I assume that's your name. I hope you enjoyed this video. And for everyone else, I hope you enjoyed it too. So, guys, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, if you have any more ideas for videos, just uh, let me know. By the way, very soon there will be another How to Be a Team Player. But until next time, guys, bye-bye.